Hi hey everyone, it's Deanna and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so today I am making my bridesmaids boxes. Um, I wanted to, I forgot that I wanted to make a video on this and then I realized how helpful it would, helpful it would be because there's like nothing on YouTube that helps you make these boxes. And if there was something like this, it would have saved me and my mom so much time because we had to like order and then return and then reorder so many things because these boxes are such a pain. I know it's like really trendy and in right now to do these bridesmaids boxes. Look at my mom's face. <laughs> The they were, charm. yeah, they were such a pain to order because first ones we ordered were like super small. They wouldn't even fit anything. Then the second ones were a little bit bigger, but still wouldn't fit the cups that I wanted to order. So finally, these are them. Our cups still aren't, aren't in yet. So I hope they'll fit, but I think, I think yeah, if we're guessing correctly, I think they'll be good. So kind of just want to bring you with how we're doing this. I'm having 10 bridesmaids or nine and one maid of honor. Um, so these boxes came delivered flat. They're from Amazon. They are, and so they came in the Amazon box and they were in a pack of five and they came, they're 14 by nine by four and a half, I believe. It's either 14 by nine by four or by four and a half. I ordered them so many times so I don't remember <laughs> what is what, but they were in a pack of five. So since I'm having 10 boxes, I ordered two, um, mom's measuring it. Four. Yeah, so 14 by nine by four. So I found that these are gonna be the best size for me once you see like what I'm putting in them. If you're gonna do something similar, then I suggest these. It looks so much bigger on Amazon. And then when you get them in, by the time you actually fold them up, so they were really easy to like assemble. They're they nice, just had- nice quality too. Yeah, they just had um, like some adhesive right here. So you just kind of peeled the back off and popped it up. And then when these close, it's like a magnet. So they're honestly, they were a little expensive, but for the quality, they were really great. Okay, so the first thing I ordered was from Printed Milestone on Etsy. And I put them on already, but they were these bridesmaid um, labels. So they say like bridesmaid noun. A best friend who is like a sister, someone a bride's big day would, not, would be incomplete without. And all of the Etsy comments said to use the three wick um, the three wick candle from White Barn, but I wanted the box to all be like white and black and the candle itself the, in Champagne Toast is pink. So I didn't really, it wasn't the vibe I was going for. So I just, I hoped and prayed that they would still fit on this candle. If not, I would have just returned them. And they did because Champagne Toast is by far the best smelling White Barn candle um, from the Bath and Body Works White Barn collection. Um, and these are just the most perfect touch. So in, in the box, they'll be like facing this way. And then like at home after my wedding, whatever, they can just keep the regular champagne toast on it. The next thing I ordered from Etsy is from a company called Roots and Lace. And they made me the, will you be my bridesmaids stickers? So I'm not sure how to apply them yet but I'm gonna put them on the inside of the box right here. So when you, the girls open the box, that's the first thing they see. So I'm gonna try to do that now and I'll get back to you. I only ordered nine, so I don't really have room to mess up. So I'm gonna focus and put these on and then, and I'll get back to y'all. So it comes like this. You peel the back off, lay this, the decal on, then I, transferred it with a credit card. So I kind of just smoothed it out on the box, waited like 10 seconds, and then I was able to peel the front off and like the letters were able to stay on the box. Let's hope they all work like that. Yeah, because like I said, we don't have, we don't have room for error. 
My mom's not even trying. She's like, you're too OCD, so mm -hmm. you just do it. Cause if you mess up then, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I just pick up the whole box to try to like measure it. Perfect. And you take the, don't, take the card. And then I um, start peeling from the opposite side like that I didn't use when I peeled off the original sticker. And then, yeah, I just do it slow so that I can make sure every litter is stuck to the box and I'm not pulling anything up. Beautiful. Perfect. <laughs> okay, next one. Okay. Those are complete. This one isn't having one. This is gonna be my maid of honor box. Um, so there's something separate that asks the question of um, will be my maid of honor? Okay, the next thing I ordered, MJ Papery Shop was her Etsy name. And then I'm gonna cover the date so not everyone knows, but it says our big day and then it's a calendar um, of the month, the year, yeah. and then a heart over our day. So the bridesmaids will be the first people besides like our immediate family to find out our date. I actually just realized the creator of these included an extra card. So this one says our big day and then the rest of them for the boxes um, say save the date, which is honestly even more perfect because that's what they need to do, save that date. <laughs> the company that I got the Will You Be My Bridesmaid um, decal from didn't sell a Will You Be My Maid of Honor. For whatever reason, they must have like already had these pre-done. So um, I found something super cute to ask her and it's very like us. Um, so the company is called Label Your Life on Instagram. And it's a sticker. It says, Alexa, wave my maid of honor, XO, Deanna. And that was completely customizable. And that I'm actually putting on this mini Vouvet champagne bottle. Vouvet. They, they sell super mini Proseccos, which are like this tall. Um, but this is like our favorite champagne brand that me and her love. Um, so when I first saw it, I'm like, dang, the sticker's gonna be a little bit small. But I think instead of removing the Vouvet um, label, I'm just gonna lay it over it. Um, so you'll still see some of the orange, but I think it'll look cute rather than the sticker just being small. Also, I find like whenever you try to remove these type of stickers, it always leaves like that gross, um, sticky like mark. So I'd rather just leave it on and put this right over it. This is how it looks. The sticker is a little like thinner than I love. I think it looks great. Okay, and then while we're still doing the Maid of Honor, this company actually is, makes handcrafted candles and it's actually like uh, more engraves onto it. It says Maid of Honor, best friend, sister, confidant, party planner, fashion advisor, train fixer, bathroom assistant therapist, um, which I thought was so cute. So the last thing that I have at home, I'm still waiting on our cups to be made. I found a company on, I found a couple companies on Etsy, but the delivery time was gonna be like another three weeks and I leave to go back to LA. So that just wasn't gonna work for me. So I was able to find a company that was pretty local um, that I would just go and be able to pick them up. So I picked them up tomorrow. They look super cute. The person that made them sent me photos and I really liked the way they turned out. But the only other thing besides the cups I'm thinking, which once I see how the boxes look tomorrow, I don't know if I'll add something or I won't. Um, but we have so many left over for my engagement party. And I know some of the girls like called me saying like, oh, can you bring us some? We, we meant to, like my mom bought them so everyone would grab them. And we have so many left over. Um, and I know the girls would want them if they didn't already take them. If they did, then they just have another one. 
Um, so these are from our engagement party. It just says Deanna and Nathaniel. She said yes, 52822. Two. And then on these little bottles, it says take a shower tying the knot, Deanna and Nathaniel's engagement party. So they seen these, these just, this is gonna be nothing surprising, but I'm like, what am I gonna do with all like 50 of these that we have left? So I'm just gonna throw these in the boxes as well. I'm really happy with how they're coming out so far. And once the cups are like really big, they're um like 16 ounce, I'm gonna say like iced coffee cups cause they're like the cups with the straws. And I know that's how all my girls are gonna wanna use them for iced coffee. Um, so those are my favorite. I got 11 of them, nine that say their name with bridesmaids, one that says Alexa, maid of honor, and then one for me that says Deanna bride. Um, so I'm hoping that we can like bring them on my bachelorette, my day of, because we're gonna need the iced coffee. But you can also put like whatever type of drink you want in them. So that's all for tonight. I will get back to you guys tomorrow when I have the cups and when I'm finalizing these boxes. So we will see. And um, I'll get back to you guys when I'm finishing tomorrow. I'm still the same clothes from yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Mm -hmm. It's the next morning. And me and my mom just ran out to pick up the cups. Um, we got them from the Proud Peacock in Point Pleasant, New Jersey. And they look super cute. Here's one of them. This one's my cousin Maria's. And they all look like this with the girl's name and bridesmaid. And then I also got one for myself um, in white, my lettering in black, it says just Deanna and then bride. So love these. I think they're super cute and like the last personal touch. Um, for the boxes. I also got um, some decorative shred just from the dollar store. I got 10 of them to lay at the bottom of the boxes just to make it fuller and a little fuller and cuter. Um, so these are just from the dollar store and I'm gonna fill the boxes now and get back to you guys. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, so I'm glad we got one pack for each box. Um, yeah. And then I had the idea, I saw it on Pinterest to add some greens. So these are actually all real. Well, I'm gonna have to cut them a little mm -hmm. bit. Um, so I think one green and one baby spray. Okay. Really cute. I'm loving this. Yay, these are looking so cute. Yay. Okay, so the straw is gonna have to come out, but. Mm -hmm. Perfect. The straw here. And the candle. Oh, I'm, I really love them. They look so good. Perfect. I love them, look. They look so cute. Oh, but we're not close. We'll have to move some of the, um, yep. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect, so this is what the girls will see. Oh, and I love them. They are adorable. Yay, 10 out of 10. Okay, these are all 10 finished boxes. They look great. Beautiful. Beautiful job. High five. Mm -hmm. Vito, you think they look good? <laughs> yeah. Yay, yeah. I'm so excited. Lastly, this is the cup that I got for myself. So I think it's literally like my everyday cup. I'm in love with it. Um, but I hope this video helps some of you if you have to make bridesmaids boxes or you have to do that in the future. Um, I couldn't really find much on them and it was really a pain trying to order them, not knowing what's going to fit, what's not. So I hope this video helps someone. Send it to a new bride, send it to your friend that's getting married. And I hope to see you guys in my next video.